guys, I'm Molly from Everyday Gymnastics and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my second level 9 gymnastics meet. You're also going to be hearing my thoughts and commentary on the meet and how I think I did. Before we get into the video, please make sure to hit the red subscribe button down below. And now without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so I have my computer here. I will be watching the routines right along with you. This meet was a USAG meet called the Dave Moskovitz Invitational, also known as DMI. And my team has been to this meet in past years. It used to be at Ursinus College, but this year it was at Westchester University. We started on vault, and let's see how I did. My first fault was not the greatest by any means. I landed like with my chest down, which I always do, but I like ran backwards and it was just not the greatest at all. I can do so much better, so I don't know what I was doing. And then for my second vault, um, my hands were really sweaty, so I was like, oh, let's put some chalk on. And this table is a different texture than what I'm used to. Like, it's different than our gym's table. Apparently, you're not supposed to use chalk on this table. I didn't know that. So, I applied the chalk, do my vault, but my hand, like, slides through the whole table, and I face plant. So, I know that they took my first vault score because, obviously, I fell on the second. That was an 8.2. The vault has a 9.6 start value, so executionally, my vault would have been an 8.6 which I can do way better, so hopefully we'll try harder next time. So second event was uneven bars. The last meet, if you watched that video, you would know my routine was horrendous. I got a 4.2, so honestly my goal was just a 6 this time. What I really wanted to do was make my high bar pirouette over on the first try. Obviously you see that did not happen, but thankfully I got back up to support and made it on the second try. And I stopped after the kip, after my pirouette, which I actually had planned to do, just because I was aiming to make the routine all the way up to there, take a stop, which would be like three tenths, and then complete the routine out. So that was in the plan. And my overshoot was so much better than last meet. Last time I did the overshoot and just came back to the bar and like stopped in support. And I saw a lot of comments on the last meet video like if you just jumped with your feet together and you know like straight legs and everything. I know that would get me a lot more points. At this point I'm just trying to get through the routine though but form is always in the back of my mind. And I was squeezing so hard, I've never squeezed that hard in a cast handstand, trying to save it, but my body just had me go over the bar. So I had to chalk back up and get ready for giant, giant dismount. I made the handstand, then we do two giants and toe front off. Yay! I landed my dismount, which I was so happy about. I had a huge smile. And the mat literally was like, it started straight, and by the end it was like that. Everybody's like, how did you land that with the mat slide? But I think that the mat sliding actually helped me. So that was bars. My final score was a 6.3. Most people would scowl at that score, but I was happy about it. All right, balance beam time. My needle kick actually looked good this time. I put a needle kick in my routine. It's not always up all the way, but I just like it, so <laughs> I don't know. We made it all the way up this time. My switch leap was good, but then my split half jump is like a baby split jump. So we're gonna have to work on that. I don't think I got credit for my bonus. Upcoming is the side aerial. I fell on it last meet, so I really wanted to make it this time. And I did. 
I was doing like a little hop hop to try and keep my feet on the beam. I don't know, I do that often. It's kind of weird. And here comes my layout step out. Keep in mind, last meet I straddled the beam on it. So the goal was to not straddle the beam. And I didn't. I just wasn't ready for the landing and jumped right off. Got both feet on so I got credit for the skill. I didn't get credit for the bonus because you have to land the skill to get that. And you can see from my dismount my coach is standing there which she normally doesn't but I had like a brief mental block on it that week so back handspring step out full land. So that was a good dismount of mine. Usually I pick one thing to work on in each skill, like one piece of focus, like chest up, straight leg, something like that. So my goal for my dismount was not to pipe down and to get my chest up as soon as possible. So I think I did well with that. And my beam score was an 8.175 improvement from last time, which was a 7.7. .7. And now we have made it to our fourth and final event, the floor exercise. While I was waiting to salute, I'll show you what was playing through my mind. Flashback to last meet, over and over and over again. So you could say I was nervous, but I was also just very excited to dance because I love my routine so much. So my front pass for bonus was pretty good. I stuck it, basically. I'm not sure if I got credit for this bonus segment because I didn't really make my tuck one and a half all the way around. My one and a half turn was pretty. I made it around and it was controlled. Now here comes the skill that I really messed up on last meet, but I had been doing it well in practice. I was like confident, but also in the back of my mind was the mess up. So I made it to my feet and I was twisted all the way around. think it was better than the last meet. I still don't think I got credit for the bonus. Not quite sure, but if I was a judge, I would not have given that credit. <laughs> and my last pass, I changed it from a back layout full to a front layout. That was my floor routine. I was very proud of it. I got an 8.8. .8, so I think that if I work on my leap pass, I can get it to a 9. So overall for the meet, I would say it was, I think I got a 31.475. So the all-around score was not impressive at all, but my all-around score went up like three points or something. I didn't straddle the beam. I didn't face plant on the floor. So I was pleased. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe down below. I will keep you updated with the rest of my meets throughout the season. And I'll see you in my next video.